I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As the season nears its end, a berth in the postseason is the goal. And this man knows the responsibility for getting them there lies mostly with him and with his ability to guide through offense flawlessly in this game. It's the Texans going up against the Titans. Thank you, Larry. We welcome everyone to the Music City. Just a stone's throw from the Country Music Hall of Fame. We are at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Houston Texans. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. They go with Murray again. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back at the 36. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Operating from the gun, Wade. And it's brought in by Eric Decker. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And that's understanding where the markers are, because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Rashard Matthews here on the catch. And he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Fresh set of downs here. This is Murray. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. The numbers for DeMarco Murray a week ago. 10 carries, 59 yards. Well, he's the number two runner in the league, and you just know the offensive line wants to get him to number one because most of the good ball carriers, they take care of their linemen. Could be a gold watch in their future if he becomes a leading rusher. Set point 90. Looking to throw on second down. Wade going for the deep ball. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Delaney Walker with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. Coming off back-to-back -back victories. And 
you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do, and when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That now working their way back onto the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. But well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run into big-time races. It means they got out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got the rookie first rounder, Corey Davis. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Back to throw. Wade. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. A gain of six there on first. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. To throw on second down. Wade. Incomplete to the tight end walker right side. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. From the gun on third down. Wade. And he locates Walker. Complete. A gain of eight and a first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's brought down. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Right, he's got some space. So now it's first and goal. So one quarter in the books on a cold December afternoon. 7-0 is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Right. 
looking to throw on second down. Wade, and he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. It's their quarterback with their second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. We remind you, coming up later tonight, we got a good NFC battle. The Eagles and Seahawks from Seattle. Coverage starting at 8.30 Eastern. And tomorrow we'll put a bow on Week 13 with an AFC North matchup between the Steelers and the Bengals from Cincinnati. A hard-hitting battle right there. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. That's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. To throw on second down. Wade. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Rashard Matthews, the intended target, and it's third and short. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. Looking to throw. Wade to Decker over the middle. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he finds his target. It's Matthews. And he's brought down. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And to give this time to the tailback. And a short gain down to about the 33. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. to throw. Wade, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. C.O. Moore coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year. The touchdown Titans! Jadu Smith, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, 
became an easy touchdown pass. Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Give them 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up. And, and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brian Cushing leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Off the play fake. Wade. And that's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Matthews that time. And that takes us from second to third down. The Titans on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and 16. From the gun, Wade. And he couldn't corral it. It falls down incomplete, but maybe not a big deal given this big lead. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Set. On first down, Wade. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The Titans on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and ten. Off play action. Wade. And some room to maneuver. And avoids the contact by sliding. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Back to the air on second down. Wade. And Matthews has it right side. He got 29 yards that time. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Looking to throw on second down. Wade. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. DeMarco Murray with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for. And a great surge by the offensive line. Checking in on action down in Jacksonville. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Blake Bortles, three touchdown passes thus far. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he's going to get this one all the way up to the 30. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Operating from the gun, Wade, but looting the heads to a stop. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Shy of the 40, despite an excellent display of footwork. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. The Titans on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run here. It's Murray. Holding offense. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. The Titans on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and nine. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. 
Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll run the counter with Murray. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and ten, Wayne. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Wade in the red zone here on first down. Flush to his right, and he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. fake. Wayne. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Zach Cunningham coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure and it was the right call. Looking to throw. Wade, and he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. to the fourth quarter in Jacksonville. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Blake Bortles with three touchdown passes to help lead the way. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he will make his way back to where he started from, and that's all, as we will make our way to the two-minute warning. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So second and ten here. Again, it's Murray. And some room to work. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. And he gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Back to throw. Ways over the middle. That's caught by Taylor. And he's taken down, but now before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Tight. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Carries piling up. It's Murray again. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. On third down, that's Murray. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Titans, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11-1. And, and they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Texans, it's another week with more questions than answers as they fall to 3-9. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco.